Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I've bought. So this is take two. I'm halfway through my video and for some reason my video just shut off. Um, so I think my phone is on its way out. Anyway, look at these. These are new. I got them from Iceland. Cathedral City. Uh, two cheese and onion pies with extra mature cheddar and onion filling. Topped with a puff pastry lid. This is that. Right, let's have a look at the box. So I've already gone through all this in my other video. Uh, I did about uh, nine minutes and it just decided to switch off. So the food's cooked. <laughs> but let's have a look at the nutritional information because you haven't seen it before. Wow, look at, the, look at that. That's what was going on about before. 935 calories a pie. And there's 29 grams, 29 and a half grams of saturated fat in a pie. Cool, wowzers. That is a lot, isn't it? Have a look at all them statistics if you want to read them. Uh, and there are all the ingredients. Um, I've got a few allergens in there, haven't we? have got wheat, milk, um, soya milk, milk and mustard. Uh, a little bit of information there. Cathedral City, two cheese and onion pie, short crust pastry base with Cathedral City extra mature cheddar cheese and onion filling topped with a puff pastry lid. Look at that. So let's have a look at the ways to cook. Um, there they are, there look. Um, you can do them, well, in the oven, cook from frozen. Um, Pre-oven, fan 180, gas 6, remove all out of packaging, leave, in, in, um, leave them in the tray and place on a baking tray in, near the middle of the oven for 50 to 55 minutes. However, I did them in the air fryer. And I took, they took 37 minutes and I've had the, the, they've had a good probing with the temperature. So I know they're okay. So I'll get one out and show you what it's like before it's cooked. So there we go. This is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. Have a look at that. So there's the puff pastry. Looks nice and tidy, doesn't it? I'll be honest, it's looking good. Wow, 29 and a half grams of saturated fat. Better double up on my aspirins after this one. <laughs> I was going to have two of them until I seen the, um, the nutritional information and I thought otherwise. So I'll leave that one for my, well, my good lady or probably me. <laughs> Another day. So I'm going to get the other one now. I've cooked it in the air fryer at uh, 180. And then I knocked it down after half an hour, knocked it down to 160 and did it for another about, what, seven, eight minutes? Uh, and it's in there now, I'll bring it in. And it smells good, I'll be honest. So here it is, look. This is the pie, that's it, cooked, look. I do, I'll be honest, it's looking good. See, see where I've been probing it with my thermometer? <laughs> The pro problem is with the air fryers, there's no gauge. It doesn't tell you how long for. You've got to play it by ear with the air fryer. Uh, and so the temperature gauge comes in very handy. So I'm going to get it open now and have a look at it. So if this is your kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, more of these sort of reviews coming. I do all sorts of, well, I try and do new food, but I do old food as well. It's not too bad, is it? Let's have a look. It's nice and crisp, look. Can you, not too bad. The bottom's not soggy neither. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe just a little bit in the middle there, look. So you, you sort of keep it in the tray as well. You do it in that, you see. You cook it in that. So yeah, so give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, well, maybe consider subscribing. It's free. Leave a comment as well. Let me know what you think of these. I'm just going to cut this straight in half now so I can show you what it's like. Oh, look at that. So you need to have a look at that filling, don't you? That is full. That is a full filling. Look at that. It's rammed. And it should be as well. It's £1.50 a pie. The three pounds they are, I don't know if I mentioned it. But I have again. Look at that filling. Cool. So well, the old cheese and onion pies, they take me back when my mum used to cook them when we were little. And she used to probably put a whole block of cheese in one and it was absolutely fantastic. So I'm hoping that these are going to be similar. I really am. 
So I'm not going live this Friday. I'm going to go live next Friday. A few people have asked me because I put a video out. I got a bit discombobulated with the old videos. I put one out, but I did it last week, you see, when I was going live. But I'm, I'm going to go live next Friday. Cool, look at that. Cool, there's plenty of filling in, so... Let's get it. Let's just get into it, eh? Let's not mess about. There it is, look. Oh, I've just dropped it. Oh, oh. My worktop is clean. I clean them every day. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh, it's going to burn my mouth off as well. I'll be like, I've had a bit of a nightmare today, but never mind. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yes, it's doing its job. Cool. That cheese, it's it's not very, it's not massively strong. I like it really strong, my cheese, so my head sweats. But it's it's doing its job, it's tasty. It's, you can taste the Cathedral City cheese. It's all falling apart, never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Butchering this hard, I look at that. Oh, you can see why it's 29 and a half grams of saturated fat with all that cheese. Cheese is full of it, isn't it? And pastry. Oh, but it's tasty though, isn't it? Pastry. Puff pastry. Mmm. 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 It's... Yeah, I can taste the onion. It's not massively overpowering. It's well seasoned. The pastry's nice and crisp. Mmm. Mm. It's not a head sweater. You definitely can taste the cheese, but it's um, it's not like making me head sweat. I'll tell you what did make me head sweat. When I had them um, Cathedral City, I think they were cheese bites. They were little blocks of basically Cathedral City cheese with like a crumb on them. They were, they made me head sweat. They were so like tangy they were really tasty i'll be honest this is a it says mature but it's a bit milder but it's lovely and they're full as well these are worth a shout i'll be honest they really are look at that have a look at that i mean they're a pound 50 a pie but you know as a treat look at that look at all the cheese in them And I know you can, you can make your own as well, couldn't you? And they're going to be tasty in the arm. My mum's cheese and onion pies when we were young were out of this world. They really are. But this is this is tasty. I'll be honest. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't want to see me eat the rest of it. I could, I could wolf two of them down, no problem. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. It's in the fr it's in the freezer. The other one. But yeah, these are these are good. Uh, would I buy them again? Yes, I would. Um, and I would say they're they're a good cool. They're a good. They're a good eight and a half. Eight and a half out of ten. They are. They are. They're good. Worth a shot. So thanks for watching. A little bit uh, discombobulated early, but never mind. Like I say, I won't be going live this Friday. I'll be going live the Friday after. I will put a post in the community on my um, YouTube uh, account. So if you su if you're subscribed, you'll get that post in my community, and you'll know when exactly when I'm going to go live. So thanks for watching. Take care. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.